Good afternoon and welcome to Have a Chat. I'm Audrey Lynch with my beautiful co-host Judy Loge and Veronique Garceneau. Good afternoon, ladies. Hello, Audrey. Hello. We're all back Veronique. together. We're all back together. We're all back together. Right. Back together. Yes. My it Monday seems girls. Like it's rare that we, we can manage with our schedules lately to all be here at the yeah. same time, but yeah. we are. I look forward to your company each yes, time. Yes, I know. It's true. Definitely. So we are here. in the throes of March. Whoops. Yes. I would like to say, you know, we're, uh, God forbid, yeah. you know. There might Still be more having some winter weather no. out there and temperatures. No, we're not. We <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. She's I've in decided. denial. She's in denial. Get, but hopefully we're on the upside of things and we're, we're getting yes. some spring temperatures, which we did. Mm -hmm. We did have that, but it still, yeah. it toggles back and forth quite a bit. It's a bit chilly out there today. Yeah, it is. I opened the it front is. door and almost slammed me in the face, the wind. Yeah. I, you know what? I, I'm going to say this. <laughs> I don't care how much it snows. I really don't. I, I snow... Winters when I was a kid, you know, the yeah. snow was up above my head, oh, it was. and 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 that was okay. It can snow all winter, but I hate what climate change has brought, which is this freezing rain and that's drizzle, oh, like scary. intermittent with with like just snow. Freezing rain. <laughs> if it's winter bad. time, snow. Stay in the because minuses. I can't get around. I'm afraid of falling down and breaking yeah. something. And even my dog hasn't been the walking ice. like he should no. be. She should be because I'm terrified and I don't want my the little girl next door yeah. to even walk her because yes. she might fall. No. With the Agreed. That's just it. No, the melting and the and the plus temperatures are wreaking mm -hmm. havoc mm -hmm. with all the melting when we do yeah. get dumped on with the snow yeah. and it's just like, it's dangerous. dangerous. I, want, I want it to either rain. Yeah, pick one. Pick one. Or snow. Pick a season. <gasps> I just, pick I'm a season. So <laughs> so like we literally are having all four seasons in one day. I am yeah. salty, as the kids say. So I'm she's salty. having a meltdown. So why don't you go to the positive okay. thought of the day? Okay. Salty. Yes. Salty yes. about the winter. We Funny. usually try to do uh, a positive thought of the day, and then I'm up. It's my turn to come up with something positive. She has to be the positive one today. <laughs> exactly. She'll so I'm going to my glasses on. <laughs> salty, I tell you. <laughs> So my positive thought of the day is, um, and I have four children, so I tend to always relate mm -hmm. back to something that has to do with my mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to let everybody know this is a great reminder. It's not our job as parents to toughen our children, to toughen our children up to face a cruel and heartless world. Mm -hmm. It's our job to raise children who will make the world a little less cruel and heartless. That's really good. I love it. You know what I yeah. mean? That's something and, and to I, think about. And I agree, but I think it's I think it's a little of both. Okay. I, that's exactly right? where I was going to go with because, that. Because you know both. what? You have to toughen them yes. up. Yes. Because otherwise, like, the world how do you the world. how do you face everything that happens in, mm -hmm. in a given day? Because yes. I mean, our lives are we you know we work really hard to have wonderful lives, and we do for the most part. But there are days when you have to deal with some tough stuff. Oh that's yeah. Right. Such and as whether, bullying. Well, yeah. And so like we need yeah. to we need to make sure that our kids are equipped to deal with that. That's, yep. I totally agree. But I also I also strongly feel that we need to help to raise our kids so that they can change that uh, to instill the good values that yeah, we as right. parents see that they're going to need to take it into the future, yes. such as kindness and giving back and um, trying to intervene when somebody yeah. maybe their friends are having a rough time. How to work with them and no. coach them Especially along. Especially in this day and age where we, we're seeing so much because of the social Crazy media. Crazy world. We're seeing the mm -hmm. cruel and the heartlessness mm -hmm. right there yeah. right. every second, the minute it happens. So yep. how do we teach the children to cope with what mm -hmm. they're seeing mm -hmm. and then to make it a little less cruel and hurt. I've got that quote. I, I see I what you're it. saying, Vera. I, I really see what do. you're saying and this yep. is two-way. Definitely. There's Positive. lots of work to do with yeah. that quote. Exactly. What else happened this weekend? You were a busy girl. So, so much. Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, my sister Jennifer arrived home for a little March break from Toronto. Oh, did she? I just didn't for know. a few days. Oh, good. And she is getting married in the fall. Oh, yes. that's right. So, that's right. Um, anyway, my mom and my sister Colleen and Jennifer mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. had a weekend of getting together just as the girls, the women. Aww. Yeah. Trying to look at dresses oh, and yeah. trying to think about the wedding and talking about this and that and just bonding oh, as, as family. And it was beautiful. Well, and there was time. a bridal show this weekend. Weekend. And then she went to the bridal show. We all did. I emceed that again. Mm -hmm. And it was an outstanding event at the Riverside Entertainment Center. Right. And this was the largest crowd they've ever had. I'm sure. Nearly this was put on by the wedding loft. By the here, wedding loft. Here in Mayor Machine. Yes. Yeah. Jennifer Olby is the owner. Mm -hmm. Right. And they gave away a $2,000 wedding dress. Whew. 
to Tiffany nice. Roy was the lucky winner, and she, oh. I think she had tears in her eyes. Oh, wow. And so with the people in the audience being nearly 300, and then the vendors, the DJ, the staff, the, the you know, all the people, total uh, models, um, there were probably about Full 400 house. people. Full house. Isn't that wonderful? Beautiful. And yeah. the gowns were la-la. Yeah. Just like at the Oscars. I know. <laughs> yes, that well, happened and this weekend too. See, now my, my weekend wasn't quite as exciting as yours. Uh, <laughs> but Cheryl, she's having a bad day. But I'm okay. Yes. I'm okay. Yes. I will yes. yeah. yeah. But I did actually have a really great time Friday night. And oh, I, I just have to give a shout out to My Pie. Yeah. So oh, we did. Right. Uh, it I was did see some pictures from oh that night gosh, too. Gosh, it was funny. So we did the second My Pie uh, trivia night. And it was at the mm -hmm. Black Horse. Mm -hmm. So I hadn't been to the Black Horse probably for a little while. But anyway, so um, I have to say Mopi, which is the Miramichi old <laughs> professionals and involved entrepreneurs, oh. as opposed to the Miramichi young professionals and entre uh, involved right. entrepreneurs. Um, Mopi came in fourth this Whoa. time. Ooh. Fourth. You're and making so strides. We were last last time. Good for you guys. So we were, we were smarter. But well, we brought in a couple right. ringers. It was fun. It was, oh. we had a great time. We had a great laugh. And you know what? Uh, kudos to Mopi for putting it on I because, know. Uh, you know, it really it's challenging and they brought in um you know a company that does it professionally okay. and so it, it was a lot of fun we had a lot of laughs and we thought we were smarter than we were yeah we weren't no um but no. you know what trivia i think is where it's at Good the, the kinsman had a trivia yeah. thing you know a couple weekends yeah. like before that and it's a lot of fun. It's, yeah. Well, it's Keeps educational with fun, yes. right? It's, you're learning while you're having a few drinks. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've never been to the Black Horse in my life. I've really? lived here all my life. Why is that? I don't know. No. A, you know what? It's, it's a good a, little spot. It's a nice little that. pub here in Miramichi. If it you is. haven't been, actually. It was years and years ago that yeah. we had gone there. But uh, I'd have to say I haven't been there I've in a long never time. Been. But oh, I no, noticed it's great, that it's, it's a great little spot, well, actually. Good for you yeah, guys. I mean, I probably go once every five years good but fun time yeah no sure. that's just it so the oscars were this weekend wow. as well 90th um, academy awards I hard know, to believe 90th right? mm. hard wow to believe. i remember the first <laughs> i didn't watch them this time i didn't get all caught up but just i'm assuming one of you girls do <laughs> well you know me i love the red carpet stuff <laughs> i know i couldn't talk my husband oh. into it last mm -hmm. night we were both sharing the television and i was like I we watched no, the, the walk open we for did. did you have a favorite dress um, I did, and I don't know who what her name was. Okay. Um, she was she was an actress I didn't recognize, but it was like a, a, a really pale goldish kind of uh, skin tone, okay. and it was long and flowy, but it was all like um, crystals, mm -hmm. and it was like almost like that illusion kind of mm -hmm. fabric, so that she almost looked like she wasn't nude. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it was but it was like Graceful. it was just. Stunning. Nice. Just I love stunning. Nicole Kidman. Oh, see, I didn't see it. Oh. See, now I'm going to have to go on and look oh, at the Oh, I love her dress. It was, it was cobalt nice? blue. Oh, oh was it? It was. Wow. That, it was stunning. A lot of jewel tones, eh? yeah. A lot of jewel tones last night. She always wears a great dress, though. Well, the oh. thing is, is I mean, she, she can't just wear any color. She's pretty fair. Cobalt and, she and she's got yeah. the red red hair. And uh, so the cobalt blue, I'll I have to take a peek at it, that. Loved it. For sure. And uh, who else? Um, the one, let me see now. Janning. Al Allison Janning. Allison Janning. She looked good. She did. She, she had that really v necked good. red dress that was a, the deepest, like lipstick red, and yep. her sleeves draped right to the floor. Yep. And oh, she wow. actually won Best Supporting Actress for the first time she ever. Awesome. She took out an award. Yeah, she oh, looked awesome. Nice. For her for yeah. playing yeah. the mother in I, Tanya. She played oh, the mother. Tanya Harding's of, mother. Yes, yeah, there's yeah, a lot Tanya. of great reviews about yeah. that movie as well. well. And it was interesting because I saw an interview with her on the red carpet, and she was talking about the fact that she actually trained as a figure skater when she was young. Okay. Like the early morning 5 a.m. practices. Yeah. Yes. Really? Yeah, like she yeah. was going to be a figure skater, like a professional. Oh. And so she really actually said she understood oh. the sacrifices that Tanya Harding's mother made yeah. to get her where she yeah, went to be in the yeah. morning. But what about Nancy like Kerrigan? That. She was the victim. I haven't oh, yeah, seen, I haven't sure. seen the movie, but it yeah. almost came across that the whole sensational, the attention yes. was all on Tanya Hardy, and she yeah. was the bad one, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, no. for sure. Well, she did it. But first. I think it maybe, nasty. and I haven't watched the movie yet either, I'm assuming that it just gives you a better insight to why, why? she did what she did, yes. while she, why she felt the way she felt. Of course. You know I what I mean? see it. Just to have yeah. a better understanding. Not saying that what she did was right or no. anything else like that, but well, I no, think it just... Somebody figure, else but a lot it. of, yeah, Ellen DeGeneres had her on the show, as mm -hmm. a, and, and mm -hmm. I saw that interview as well, mm -hmm. and after seeing that interview, I'm like, I have to see that movie, because I'm like you, and I'm like, what? I like to see it. They did a movie yeah, no, I like to I see agree. exactly another one. The yeah. the worst dress to me last night was Emma Stone. 
I didn't see it. Oh, on. she's really? such a lovely she's young sunny. girl, and she wears mostly beautiful dresses. Usually, and really? what she had on, I wouldn't wear in the supermarket to get groceries. Really? Oh, oh I can't wait kidding. to see this. Now we have to the supermarket to get groceries. Hey, somebody Google it. It was yeah. a, it was a jacket. That. It was like okay. a sort of reddish jacket yeah. with a bit of pink on it and black pants. Really? Just, oh, so too plain for uh, you? Just for a, blaze, her? a blazer, and I think a pink bow at the waist, and a pair of pants. Oh, like no. plunging neckline, no nothing, 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 nothing underneath. Nothing. It? Okay. It was so boring. I saw a lot of like capey kind of long sleeve, you know, like drapey. Yeah, drapey. a lot of kind like of, yeah, curtain, a lot of kind of. Yeah. It was oh, interesting. Yeah. Exactly. But the uh, best, best picture Google was these. the Shape of Waters. That yes, was called. Yeah. Shape of Waters. Yeah. Shape that of Water like took it's four be big awards. One. Really? Best picture, best yeah. director, uh, best that looks production, like it's be one. Uh, best original score. Yeah, they, they did really well. Yeah. It I want to see that movie. Me too. I definitely do as well. Um, it's March break this week mm. here for the kids nice. as well. And being the first week of March, International Women's mm -hmm. Day is coming up. Yep. Right, so uh, March 8th, yeah. March 8th is uh, every year it's International Women's Day yeah. and so this year's theme is hashtag press for progress. Mm -hmm. So we've seen so much happen in the last few months, especially in Hollywood right. um, and, and through political circles as well, mm -hmm. um, you know, with the Me Too movement and with the Time's Up movement. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, that's the theme this year for International Women's Day. Here in the Miramichi region, there is an event happening on Thursday, which is International mm -hmm. Women's Day at Capers. Um, but I'm going to give you a, f a, little, a few little stats sure. here. Okay. So We love stats. I we know. Love Especially <laughs> wonderful women. Yes. I know. So um, in the last census, so it would have been 2016. So these okay. so stats are a couple of years old, but still, that's... We do uh, census Rough every five years. This is current as we're getting. Yep, we do a census every five years. So um, estimated number of uh, females of all ages in Canada, uh, 18,290,800. Impressive. Yeah. yeah. And so our life expectancy. Oh, dear. I'm waiting. Ooh, You're waiting. Go. Our life yeah. expectancy for women is 83.6 years. Oh. Way. I got yeah. lots to do now then. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm not going the, anywhere soon. To do, to do the list out. That's cool. I know, it's not That's too bad, really eh? Nice yeah, not too bad. Um, so 54.2% uh, uh, of university degree holders um, aged 25 to 64 were women. Great. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're, you know, we're making, we're getting we're in there. We're over the halfway. Yeah, we're getting in there. Yes. Um, at, at least twenty percent of all employed women with a university degree were in three occupations: okay. registered nurses, mm -hmm. elementary school and kindergarten teachers, yep. or secondary school teachers. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. That, I, that yeah. doesn't surprise me. That's no, exactly no, no, what no. I would have probably guessed. No, exactly. And then um, thirty-nine percent of uh, women um, are university university graduates. From the STEM programs, mm, so okay. science, right. yes. um, you know, math, all of those things. Oh. Um, so we're still a little bit of work to do there. Yeah, yeah. we're not. We're still exactly. not. We're not plowing into that whole. No. You know, no. no. Um, the, yeah, the math, and the gender the gap. And yeah, stuff, it still tends to be more male dominated. Yes. as far as that goes. Yes. Right? Gotta work on that. Yeah, okay. nine uh, million uh, women in the labor force. Oh. Nine million. Mm. Yeah, and two million, a little over two million, working part time, uh, women. And then finally, uh, we'll talk about some moms. So uh, there are 9.8 million mothers in Canada. 9.8 million. million of yeah. us. New Brunswick, there are 226,000 oh women my word. and mothers. That's interesting yeah, all that it stuff. Is. All yeah. those numbers are. They're yeah. very interesting. Now, this has all spawned. Um, a question that you wanted to put to us today. I did, and first of all, I want to say I put some thought into International Women's Day because okay. the colors that they celebrate with are white, purple, and green. Well, there you go. They've oh, adopted those nice. colors oh, okay. as their kind of theme color. So, right. so I thought gonna, you were gearing up for, uh, for no, St. Patty's Day. I have Day. a little bit of green. Yes. I do have the, I, mean, <laughs> I was like, for good luck, right. but, but it's also, okay. I, I thought about it okay. and I incorporated it into yes. it. Well, like, I'm, I'm an clever girl. So close. I know. Yeah. My yeah. question for you girls, which everyone would like to go first, is if you could uh, spend time, have a cup of tea in an afternoon with any phenomenal woman, uh, whether she's alive or has passed away, who would you like to interview? Sit with. Okay. Um, so I think it would be Oprah Winfrey. All right. Great I think choice. Would, yeah. Um, because, um, one, she has has an incredible thirst for knowledge. Mm. So I think I could learn from, you know, all that she's learned over over right. the decades. Two, she's overcome a significant number of obstacles mm -hmm. to get where she is. Definitely. Um, you know, 
her early upbringing, um, you know, um, the, the sexual assault when she was a young girl, um, you know, being a woman of color mm -hmm. in the media mm -hmm. in the early days, um, to, you know, now where she really, you know, owns the world. Which world is fantastic. sensational. Yeah, so I think, I think I, I You'd like to sit and have yeah. a cup of tea. I think Oprah. so. Yeah, I, I think would so. think that well, would be enough. Sean, get on that. Obvious choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give Oprah yeah. a little dingle there and <laughs> let know. her know. Give her a call. We'd love to have her on the show. <laughs> okay. um, so when I saw that question this morning, at first I panicked. <laughs> I'm like, oh my land, who am I going to pick? But um, just recently, um, uh, for Valentine's Day, my husband had given me a magazine, which seems like a little odd gift for Valentine's uh. Day, but I absolutely love this magazine because it's a life magazine and it's the life in the times and the story of Audrey Hepburn. Oh, she was fantastic. And I started to read it because mm -hmm. besides all the beautiful photographs, because yeah. this story is told from a very close friend of hers, which was this photographer, and he tells the story of her and I was totally shocked to realize where she comes from mm -hmm. when she was born. Her and Anne Frank mm -hmm. have so much in common. Isn't that interesting? They were both 10 years old when all of that happened mm -hmm. over there with mm -hmm. Germany. Mm -hmm. And um, she mm -hmm. too, when uh, between the ages of 10 and 15, the exactly the same as Anne Frank, went through all of almost identical mm -hmm. the same things the, yes exactly mm -hmm. she had to change her last name so that people didn't know what her nationality was mm -hmm. and where she came I from hiding this. in the closets witnessing uh, family members being shot oh, okay. and and starving and being hungry her, did you? yes there was and she actually and then ended up coming over to America and becoming who we know her to be which is this beautiful wonderful Hollywood star legend, legend. legend mm -hmm. with breakfast at Tiffany's know, and I all know. her Go lightly. Like, yes, mm. all her amazing movies that she did. And she did stay in Hollywood making movies a until her son was born. And then when he became school age, that's when she stopped. When she couldn't bring him with her, mm. she didn't do that any longer. And she actually lived till 63 Is when she passed away oh, okay. of colon that's cancer. But I, 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 I'm thrilled to, to read the rest of the magazine and find out more about her. But I would love to sit and have a cup of tea with her and, and find mm. out. I think I picked Maya Angelou. May yeah. Angelou, the novelist, yeah. Yeah. Is, oh um, yes, she's a civil and one right of and one of Oprah's mentors. And she was the only exactly. well, she was the only one besides Robert Frost. Uh, Robert mm -hmm. Frost did a recitation when John F. Kennedy was inaugurated, right. but that was in 1961. But she actually had the opportunity to read a poem when Bill mm -hmm. Clinton was inaugurated in 1993. Mm -hmm. She was the only one to do that, other than Robert Frost. Wow! And Robert oh, Frost died in '87. So she she was she wrote um, you know. Uh, Cage bird. And yes. She was just a, a very. She had so many obstacles, such as Oprah, to overcome. Yeah. And just yeah. took life by the horns, and she just went yes, through with is, and yeah. faced and embraced oh, all obstacles. Sakes. That's fabulous. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. There we go, girls. Great. Happy That's International so Day coming we up. We have yeah. yes, we have a more great show coming up. We have a couple of really great, fantastic guests that we can't wait to introduce you to. Lots to talk about, especially with this month being St. Patty's Month. Yes. So we'll be back with more. Have a chat right after the break. Don't go away. Hi, welcome back to Have a Chat. We've got more great show lined up for you for the rest, so don't go away. Joining us now, we have a couple of great guests um, right from Miramichi, mm -hmm. uh, Ellen Doyle and Miran Trevers. Hello, ladies. Hello. Welcome Thank to the show. Having us. Two strong, phenomenal women uh, for you. Yes. Know. Know. Exactly. I'm so delighted that you could be here because it's your March break. Yes. yes. And so yes. it was a That's perfect opportunity to have here. you. For sure. Yeah. We're actually quite excited to talk to you ladies today. You. Um, you're part of the Ellen Doyle Dancers. Nelson Doyle, Nelson Dancers. Doyle Dancers, pardon me. <laughs> and we're so excited to find out so much about your story and how mm -hmm. this all got started. But first we'll find out about you. Can you okay, tell us a little so bit about yourself? My name is Ellen Doyle and I was born and raised here and I come from an Irish family. Nice. And however, my start uh, in dance was in 1978 with Ellen Karasek. My mom had had you must have been an, an infant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you must have been an infant. <laughs> no, <laughs> and uh, and uh, so that's how I got my. I learned my discipline and my love of dance. I was with Ellen till I was eighteen. Um, 
and beyond. Uh, we did come back and kind of do little things together. But at 18 years old, I made my first trip to New York with Ellen Karasek oh, and, wow. and her troupe. Beautiful and, lady, and beautiful school. Wonderful, yes. and, and really, you know, she's just a class act. She certainly is. When it comes is. to dance, and, and uh, she really taught me to love dance. So that, I, I have to start with her. Good. And of course, my mom, who, who I, I really owe everything to because she, she used to talk about watching musicals at the old opera house Aww. as a child, wow. and uh, she just loved uh, music and dance, and mm -hmm. that's kind of why she put me in dance. So. After uh, at 18 years old and going to university, I continued on with Dance Caravan in New York in the summers. New York. And then a friend of the family, Blair Clancy, a lot of you yes, know I who do. he is, and he was kind of strong with starting the Irish Festival and, and with Farrell McCarthy, and there was a group there who kind of spearheaded that. Um, of course, my head was still in uh, the other types of dance that I had, but he did approach my mother and, and ask her, like, did she ever think of trying Irish dance? So. Mm -hmm. um, I went one year, they had a workshop, Michael Smith came here, and I went to the workshop, and it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. He actually approached me and said, you know, this is for you. And yeah. so from there, he came back the following year. Um, when I graduated from St. Evex, I started up a dance troupe just after school for fun. Okay. So uh, I was a supply teacher for a while, mm -hmm. and then I, my first lead was at Nelson Rural, and that's where I am still today. I've been oh, there 20 years. Do you teach, Ellen? I teach French. Oh, that's grade five, great. Intensive. And beautiful school, too. Yes, and I love my kids, and I love the community, and they were very supportive of our troop as well all through the years. Now, interestingly enough, my first troop have gone on to have babies, and they're married, and I I'm know. going to two more weddings. Yeah, you feel you're getting and old. And a lot of people say when they say 28 years, they don't believe it, but it is absolutely true. True, wow. Because I started when I was still going to school, so. Yeah. So then from Michael Smith uh, and his wife, then the following year we did exchanges with, with other dancers. And my main dance teacher, Maureen Haley, who originally from Galway, mm -hmm. but she's based out of Boston. I've been with her the longest. She's kind of come back and forth to Miramichi over the years. And I think, uh, I, I think you've met her. You've met her. Yeah, we've been yeah. And a wonderful lady, lovely lady. And again, she just lives, breathes Irish dance, the same as we do. And um, and want, and like she was really my mentor. Like like really, I. I I've learned so much from her, mm. and of course, just keeping on with the troop every year. Every year, we seem to grow, and and this is the first year now we've made a move to the Siemens Hospital. So, oh, right, um, that's an historic site. Uh, that is a story all in of itself. Location, mm. and building. it just feels right to us because yeah. it's sort of the history that's in that building as well. So uh, we're we're quite pleased, and and I'm happy to have Mirren with me. Yes. She's one of my advanced dancers, yes. and she's been to Ireland twice with us already as a troupe, and she just come, came back from Ireland last summer. She was in the Riverdance Dance Camp. Yeah. So Tell us more about, about yourself, that. young lady. Well, I'm uh, Miriam Travers. So I'm 17, and I'm graduating from James M. Hill this year. Great. Yep. And I, I started dancing with Ellen when I was four. Four? Yes. Oh my goodness. So little. <laughs> yeah, just a tie. Four years old. Yeah, just, just a, a little bit shorter than I am now. <laughs> <laughs> You're the middle girl in your family, yes. right? Because yeah. I know your mom and dad and your sisters mm -hmm. are wonderful people. Yes. So what kind of dance were you doing at four years old? I was, was doing it, Irish it was dance, right? yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, me and my mother went to the Irish Fest, mm -hmm. and Ellen was holding a free Irish dance workshops yeah. okay. with Miss Haley, and my mom decided she was going to put me she in just it. so we could try it, and then that was ever it, since right? that was it, there's yeah. been no mm -hmm. question about so anything else. two of you, would you just say you're natural? Like, you know, yeah, yeah, some people are very gifted, they just mm -hmm. learn really quickly how to take on dance. Steps. Yeah. Me, I'd probably be there for four years to get <laughs> you know, one Irish jig. One bounce yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Some people have yeah. rhythm. Like, I could dance, but yeah. I couldn't do the Irish jig and all that. I just can't get it. But well, anyway, yeah. were you, was she might be able to try it on Thursdays. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, We're going to go, Judy. We're going to go. Yeah. I think we should you're go you're to gonna at least about one. That. Yeah. We should go to yeah. one. So, well, how did you develop? Because four years old, did you do other? Well, of course, you're in school at five or six. You probably went to kindergarten. Yeah. You kept on doing it right through until oh, yeah. mm -hmm. now you're graduating yeah. this year. I am graduating. Yeah. Okay. And it's fun. Like I, so I was teaching at Jameson Hill for a couple of years, and so many of the girls that I was teaching were going, yes. were <laughs> dancing with you, and, and they still talk about how much they loved yeah. it. We've like, seen years hundreds later. upon hundreds go yeah. through, and it's, wow. it's massive when you think of how many 
have from way back and they're actually thinking of planning an, uh, a Nelson Doyle Dancers reunion in conjunction with the Irish Festival. Oh, oh giddy up! So we <laughs> think Great we're going to probably descend on the Irish okay. Festival in a year or two. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have some parents that are really excited to help me organize yeah, that. Sure. And, well, tell and us a little bit about the Irish dance itself. Now, I went yeah. with you to yes. Parasac and we had yes. done all those, uh, there was lyrical, there was jazz, yes. there was tap, I we honestly, did all different kinds. Yes. Now, this is something different altogether. It absolutely altogether. is, and having taken tap, jazz, baton all of right. those things uh, it, of course it prepared me for it okay. but it's very a very intense um, uh, form of dance where it, it, it's hard on the body okay. and physically it's, it's very physically demanding okay. a lot of cardio mm -hmm. a lot of footwork Jumping. so you kind of do have to have a commitment to the dance okay. to carry on like of course we do it there's a place for everybody in our troupe mm -hmm. you can come for fun you can kind of work in, at your own pace and then there's also a place for dancers mm -hmm. Who, it, like my advanced dancers who ladder. would like to reach a high standard of dance. Mm -hmm. We have a strong intermediate group right now right. and they've uh, been very dedicated so I'm very excited for everybody to see them on St. Patrick's Day mm. and uh, I think a lot of people are going to be uh, very impressed with, with the kids coming up but as well impressed with the standard of dance that the advanced dancers have reached. I always hear it. I am seeing mm -hmm. the uh, St. Michael's Basilica concert uh, St. Patrick's last year mm -hmm. and again I'm doing it next Sunday mm -hmm. And people were saying, wow, like mm -hmm. they saw these dancers out there. They were, my mom and dad, for example, were just wow. They said that the talent mm -hmm. they exude is just incredible. Well, the roots of this dancing go way back. Way back. And I'm glad like, you asked a little that. Bit about we, that. Talked about that. We, we'd like to talk about that because, again, like I was talking before we, when we first came in and talking about like, how did you really get a love of this mm -hmm. dance? It's, mm -hmm. it's sort of in your Irish roots when you grow mm -hmm. up. And an Irish family, it's like it's sort of like you don't you don't really think about the things that make you Irish. You just are. Okay. And a like given. when I talk about like my grand things that my grandmother would say or songs they would sing, and thing, my mother always made us quite very aware of our Irish heritage. We know where we came from. Mm -hmm. We have the songs, but like things that only now as an adult when I when I look back, things that were that were very Irish that I just thought was normal, like you know, right. so yeah. like you know, yeah. just for traditions and things, sayings yeah. and and just that the way you live. So the music is in, is in us mm -hmm. <laughs> um, naturally. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like when you tap into it, it sort of like opens this, this world that mm -hmm. really was already there. I know what you're saying. Um, but the old style Chateauneuf dancing, which is close to the Cape Breton step, step dancing, mm -hmm. um, that they do a, very, a variety. So yeah. these dancers would have the traditional, the like sort of soft shoe, hard shoe, slip jig, but also they love the production numbers of like made popular by Lord of the Dance and River Dance. Like they yes. love that as well. I love it yes. too. But to make them well rounded, like they really love the old style. And it's great to get back to that old style. Like just in September, mm -hmm. we were asked to perform with Daniel O'Donnell in Moncton. Yes. And we did the brush Gosh. dance, which is an old style dance, okay, which right. is the close to the floor shenos, which means old style. Uh -huh. And um, we, we want to make sure that we don't lose that like I know uh, Judy had asked about will you like to compete and things like competing is not really why we do it no. we've done it and come home been there got the trophy <laughs> came home with the big trophy and um, really though that's not our focus it's, it's the love competing. of the culture yeah. and and to that's do that right. so we don't want um, the students to lose their love of dance and, and get overwhelmed by that mm -hmm. life because that is really a different world yeah. And and yeah, so maybe. you know, really, it's it's all about the love of the dance, the love of it. Reach the standard of dance. Keep pushing yourself, and and really, like, it's a testament to our ancestors and a testament to you know how we were brought up. And yeah. and we really just want to share it with everybody. And we were so lucky um, to be able to have a strong community base that we mm -hmm. did um, all through. And the, the similarities in the culture is like the Boron, our drum, and, and the native, uh, yes, you know, culture. Yeah. There's so many sil similarities that we're we're seeing yeah, come right. out of us coming together mm -hmm. and and getting together and celebrating together. Like I was just at Maui Omi and mm -hmm. we do the fisherman's powwow together, yes, yeah. and and we really love that chance to share with each other. Yeah. The best of us. Well, you're the best of all of our cultures. Exactly. People yeah. talk about you everywhere we go. Well, the Nelson you, Doyle dancers are, you know, yeah. a big name well, out and, there. And, and really, like, you've become ambassadors for our yes. area in, yes. a lot of, in a lot of uh, instances. And so um, talk to us a little bit about, you know, your travels to Ireland yes. and, and how that's been. And, and I mean, it must be pretty exciting. Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. in 2004 was uh, the first time we were invited. We did a Cyberlink pub with NS Ireland at the rink. Mm -hmm. And we were scheduled to only perform one number. 
And we came out and we did an old style tribute to John Morris Rankin. He's a well-known fiddler that passed away in Cape Breton. And we had all of the old Chano style in it, which is which at that time was sort of dying out. And right. and and so and Annis could see us. They had performers. We had mm. performers. Uh, the kids, I said, are you sure? Should we have another number prepared? They said, no, it's very tight. Uh -huh. um, this is, we're going to have these scheduled performers. So we came off the stage. We did a uh, tribute to John Morris Rankin. We had the Shan Nose dancing, all of those things incorporated in it. They, they literally, and you'd be amazed how quickly an Irish dancer can get out, in and out of their costume. <laughs> oh, so they were the in the dressing costumes. room, costumes off, and the Ennis mm -hmm. side called us back. Yeah. So we came back. They said, do you have something ready? I said, we sure do. Oh, <laughs> so, so we came out and we did Shimsha, which is a big style. That's actually the one that we won the high score of the day at the yes. competition. And um, they came out and the place, both sides went absolutely bonkers. And it was that evening that we had the invitation to Ireland for wow. the first time. Uh, what, like, what a yeah. thrill. Mm -hmm. You young lady have yeah. been very accomplished. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Mirren, you've just kind of reached the top. You're still going forward, right? Yes. You're still always trying to, to get and improve and do different dances. So yeah. just do we have time before a break yeah. to talk about your um, skills, your favorite type of dancing, yeah. how you've developed over the years? Yeah. Well, I think um, what's really helped me is I do theater. Yes, you stuff. do. Yeah, and you're a great little actress. <laughs> Yeah, I do theater, so that really helped me kind of build a stage presence mm -hmm. with my dancing, so yeah. um, that's kind of helped a lot. You sing as well? Yes, I do. She's a very gifted girl. I don't think I've ever heard you sing. You know what? I was so shocked at the production. It was which one that you sang? Uh, the um, Beauty and the Beast? Yes. Wow! She was up I there. I had never seen her act or sing. I said, we're up near in Trevor's. I was like, that girl's so gifted. So that, so you're, yeah, the drama and yeah. all that helps you. Yeah. But your top, like when, when I watch you, you just, you really stand out. Yeah, I think, I don't really have <laughs> favorite dance type. Slip jig, soft I don't, shoe. Well, I, I like slip jig mm -hmm. more because it's very flowy and I guess Slip to jig, so I wouldn't have a clue where a slip jig was. <laughs> it's 9-8 so. time and it's, uh, it's a soft type of dance, mostly yeah. danced yeah. by girls, but boys can dance it too. Okay. But it's, um, and actually the first time we were on Master Control, Matilda played the slip jig oh, for us. Oh, Matilda Murdoch. Because she can play a mean slip jig. Um, sure. <laughs> sure. Very oh, yeah. special so, person. Yes, and Definitely. that type of style of dancing is, is perfect for Mirren. Mm. Um, is that okay? So is that is the slip jig the one where because there there is a phenomenal picture of you? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the air. Yes. yes. And yes. and I think it was I think it was at the Fisherman's Power. Yeah. And I think we have another one from from. Uh, from Irish Festival last year, but yeah. there is a phenomenal picture of you mm -hmm. where you're flying. <laughs> <laughs> like it, like there's like, there's yeah. like 10 feet between yeah. her and the ground. Oh, oh, is yeah. that the slip jig? Yes. yes. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to picture it now as I see you flouncing around, but I just, like that, that I, lo I love mm -hmm. to watch that because it's yeah. just, it is like you're flying. Mm -hmm. Well, how old were you when you, you were able to travel for the very first time? I was to go 12. Over there? Yeah. 2012. When we yeah. When we I went was to cabin. 12 years old when we went to Ireland for the first time. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Oh, wow. Were you nervous or just um, excited? I, was, I think I was mostly excited. I don't really get no, she doesn't get nervous. Nervous. Yeah, yeah, more like, do oh, you get good. nervous on stage? No. Not really. I mean, I've been dancing since I was four, I and know. I've been doing solos. Constant. Yeah, I've been doing solos since probably I was eight mm -hmm. years old. And that actually, that time that she, the first time that she had gone in Cavan, the Fla, which is, is it's the biggest Irish. It's held the All Ireland. It's the biggest music festival in Ireland. We were uh, the first Canadian dance group. A troop to dance there oh. in 2012. We were invited back in 2013, but we didn't go. It's hard to go. We just used to go every two years. Well, it's, it's a big so expense. The next time we did travel there was 2014 in mm -hmm. Sligo, and we were asked back in the year after. Sligo actually uh, did the fly twice. It usually changes the venue, like the venue changes. But uh, her relatives, it, it, she found yes. out. It, it's, it's, this is how the weird, the, the kind of the <laughs> in, the coincidences happen. Her relatives are actually from Cavan. Wow. So the first time oh, you're she traveled to Ireland, that was her biggest performance. Mm -hmm. Don't imagine that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, for goodness mm -hmm. sakes. Yeah. So what did you think when you got off the plane for the first time, 12 years old, and you're in Ireland? Like, mm -hmm. what, what did, how did you take all of that in? It was, a, it was, well, I was sick. Really? I got really sick on planes. Oh, oh most so sick. Oh, yeah. sugar. Okay. So, it was, it was mostly just kind of, <laughs> yeah. kind of went just, on. Make <laughs> just make me not throw up. Whatever you do, just make me not throw up. It was great. I've, I've been so excited about going. Mm -hmm. I've been dreaming about going to Ireland for years and years and years mm -hmm. before I went. And it was just, it was a dream come true, mm -hmm. really. Yeah. 
No. Mm-hmm. So you came home with awards, you said. Like you're personally, um, they've invited you back. Like yes. they don't just invite anybody back. She actually had to send a video in a minute. Okay. And yeah. a, and and to get into this uh, River Dance? Dance Dance Camp. Yeah. Oh. And so they called her back. And I remember when she, she texted me <laughs> in the morning and I saw the text, I'm in. <gasps> and I was, we were so excited. Oh, goosebumps. <laughs> yes. I and, imagine. Um, so happy for her. Mm-hmm. And uh, then now she just recently found out that she's asked back. So, so it's all let, the news. we'll just back up for a second Honor. because a lot of people wouldn't yeah. know. So last summer, yes. mm-hmm. um, you got to go to uh, back to Ireland mm-hmm. on your own mm-hmm. to be in the Riverdance Dance Camp. Yes, yeah, and exactly. you were one of two from Canada. Two from Canada. Two from Canada. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> yeah. Mary. Two and from Canada. Because you have to be invited in order to be able to go, yeah, you right? To, yeah, you have to audition. But one of oh, two yeah, is pretty <laughs> impressive. Yeah. You're at our table. I know. Yes. And you're the teacher. <laughs> wow, that's, that's so amazing. She's quite impressive. Yeah. She told me a story, and, and like we were texting back and forth from Ireland, and the first day, and I and I, I laughed at the first one. There was one day that she texted me, and it was that sick emoji, like yeah. where. <laughs> And well, it was yeah. like, because it's so intense and, and yeah. there's so many troubles and things in certain dances and, and it was sort of funny. Like, and, but she did have a, 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 a story that touched my heart and the first day. We'll uh, tell that one after the break. Yes. Okay. After yeah, the break. We'll so we are, yes, we are definitely, yeah. we're going to be going to a break. So we're going to be back with more from Ellen and from Mirren telling us all about their mm-hmm. adventures over in Ireland mm-hmm. and about the Nelson Doyle dancers. And the other thing I want to bring up is all of the costumes and all of this must cost lots of money. So we're going yes, to talk a little bit about how that all comes back, and we'll be back after the break. And we're back with Have a Chat. We've been talking to Ellen Doyle and Mirren Trevers about your the Nelson Doyle dancers and all about the Irish dancing and your trips to Ireland. And just before we went to break, you were telling us a little bit about this last trip that she made that was on your own that you were invited to. So how did that all go? It was fantastic. It was amazing. I was there for a week in Mm -hmm. the middle of Dublin. Mm -hmm. So we were practicing on the Trinity College campus. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's so this beautiful. was a boot camp, the River, it's beautiful river campus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So basically I went for a week and I learned the choreography for some of the uh, big main river dance dances. Challenging, but yeah. mm-hmm. you're up to it. Because they're a big show. They became mm-hmm. very, very well, popular. Quite yeah. 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 Well, they're very well I just can't believe how good they are. When I watch that, I just want to keep going back. Mm-hmm. My husband yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Did you meet the other student from Canada? Did you, I did, Did yeah. you connect and go together? Like from uh, Toronto no, to Dublin? No. no, she was from Calgary. Okay. Yeah, so she went. Same age as you? No, she was, I think, 20. Okay, yeah. just a babe. <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying something happened, or you told Ellen a story. What, what was the story? Yeah, um, we were learning one of the dances, and there's this kind of difficult step that they call the traveling step. Mm. So um, it was it's it's kind of a difficult step to get because the timing's kind of weird but um we actually do that step in one of our dances <laughs> yeah. 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 so i knew it before i went over Good. okay yeah. and i was one of the only ones that day she must be yeah. so easy to work with so Ellen. I took the pressure off her right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 it was just a shoe in then for you <laughs> Wow, so you've met a lot of people over in Ireland that know you now? Yes, and we have a a very strong uh, friendship with Monaghan Mm, and some people from Monaghan, Sean um, Conlon and Brian Rice, our bus driver, and of course Marvin McCarthy. I uh, miss you. Me too. Made every trip with us. Marvin passed away, was it three years ago now? Yes. He was one in a million for sure. And he was just wonderful and, and just, you know, he had whole tour organized and and we had nothing to worry about and but we still have those friendships so you know it's, it's nice and I know Brian was gonna yeah. try to see Mirren when she was over there mm-hmm. so it's sort of like the people and, and getting that 
back to that is that the people are so much like us. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Like, and it's not something, you know, everybody says it and think it's cliche, but it's so true. Yeah. You do double takes the whole time you're over there. There were times where uh, my cousin Laura actually and Claire met up with a girl and they walked through the door and they, they looked so much like I each mean, other yeah. that they both put their hands up no. and started laughing at once. And we were amazed. Yeah, something. And it's, it's really, uh, my mom had, did tell me that in the 90s. She did travel with her sisters to Ireland while I was still at university. And that was one of the things that she did say was it's the similar. biggest thing that, that she noticed it, that takes you aback is how much people look like the people mm. who are here. Have you met your twin yet, Mira? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't even. Everybody she thinks I'm met, Irish, though. Yeah. They always say, what part of Ireland are you yeah. from? I met a person in Miami who thought I was from Ireland. Oh, really? I met oh, a person right. in Newfoundland who thought I was from Ireland. They said, yes. what part of Ireland? I said, I'm not Irish. <laughs> yeah. I am, but I don't live there. Yes. No. no, that's just um, it. But so for the 28 years you've been doing this, mm -hmm. um, I know, okay, it's hard to believe. Um, you have done this as a volunteer. Yes. This is yeah. the first year So the year classes, that you have never, ever once until now until charged this year. for these dance lessons. Until this year. So you can imagine the fundraising that that's, we did. Well, that's so where I was going with that. The parents and the community and everybody who came together to help right. us when we had to fundraise for things. And it was, it literally was a massive amount that we would have to raise for the traditional dresses no. plus your trip. And they're so and beautiful. Things like I mean. that. Yeah. So like, because we, Marvin, we didn't, didn't just go dance. We could have gone to Ireland dance where we were asked to dance and come home, but mm -hmm. Marvin wouldn't have any of that. Mm -hmm. So Marvin organized a full trip. So of course we'd fundraise for those. So we mm -hmm. could give everybody the experience of wow. traveling throughout Ireland and visiting. Especially because you don't know if you're going to yes. get a chance to go back yes. again. Mm -hmm. So do so, it all and go big. So that, <laughs> take, that took a lot of fundraising. So what types of fundraising? I mean, were there well, small we ones here and there? Our, big? our biggest one was tickets for a trip for two to go yes. with us, <laughs> oh, which we yes. do. Nice. Again. And we're, we're, we're due to go back again uh, in 2020. Oh, yeah. So we're, we're looking at that. And we'll be moving there pretty soon, yeah. though. <laughs> so that will be one of our biggest fundraisers again, is, yeah. is people Chicken. could win a trip. They could either nice. go with us or take the money, whatever they decide. And it was always drawn at the Irish Festival. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah. So it, it's, but I mean, other than that, we've done everything. Like from bake sales bake and bottle drives, drives and everything. Pick, flip burgers. Aww. Of course, when we would travel to perform, then that would go in the pot too. Plus the performances at the Irish Festival mm -hmm. would help. And, and things like that. So it's, it's unheard of actually yeah. though, Ellen, for a teacher to not charge the students I guess, for 28 I know. years. Yeah. It's I'm just sitting here now and, and, and sort of looking back and wondering was that the right way to do it? But I know that hundreds of kids did get to do it. They had the opportunity. They, they, know, the they would know. Know. Amazing. And so my base is strong now and, and strong enough that you do have the kids who are really serious about it will stay exactly. with you. So, uh, you know, it's, and I think, what I, I mean, I was a school teacher too, so I looked at that as my job. Mm -hmm. And I right. looked at the dance as fun, mm -hmm. so I, I sort of, you know, kind of just got lost in that and, and just kept going. How mm -hmm. often do you rehearse? Three times a week. Mm -hmm. and But I say three times a week for my regular regular dancers. Yeah, because like, is there levels? The advanced would, would, would right. rehearse a lot more, and of course Mirren puts extra hours in. You know, it, it just takes that kind of a, de a dedication and drive to do it. Yeah. So from here, and you might haul her out of the class and do another evening. She, I might meet one with her on one separately, with you or special. she might stay later, yes. or come earlier, or, right. or a different day, or something like that. Are you? You're just as excited as you are for dance as you were oh, when you were four years mm -hmm. old. You're not losing your, you know, that that craving for it. Mm -hmm. No, it just grows. Yeah. Exactly. Well, what are your future plans now? This is your graduating year. It so is. what what have you got on deck now for the fall? Well, I'm only I'm 17 right now, and right. I turn 18 in October. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when I I am 18. I can audition for the Riverdance show. Ooh, you gosh. Yes. Make us proud. You can do it. Oh, my. You know what? When Everybody just with, got goosebumps. I know. Right? All yeah. the when you're dancing with Riverdance, we can say we had her on the show. Yeah. <laughs> well, she my was on our show first. Yes. I know. Well, I've, seen it, I've seen it a couple of times, and I've seen Lord of the Dance. It's shocking how good it is. Yeah. So Riverdance itself, is it a big production? Is it the name of the company, or is it just? It's, it's the show. It's the yeah. show. Yeah. The yeah. show. The company, kind of. They mm -hmm. tour yeah. all over, yeah. and, and they have their own chef, their own, you know. So it's, yeah, they of course they, tour they with, look like, after their dancers. So yeah. So that's what your goal is right now. That's yeah. what you, and I can see you doing that and accomplishing that. No problem. Yeah. Wouldn't and there's proud. actually like um, my favorite uh, Irish dancer growing up was Pat Roddy, and he's from Dundalk, and I actually have friends from Dundalk, and uh, he now is like moved on, like he has a family and everything, but. A lot of times what they would do is, like, you could see him in the early shows. 
he was one on, one of the pack, and then later he would kind of be that that mm -hmm. star at the front. And it's so interesting to see that, you know, it's mm -hmm. sort of like you feel like you grow up with the people, you know, yeah. and you know them mm -hmm. even because the world They're of Irish family. dance is a small world. I know. We met up with James Keegan and Batwin and Moore where we were dancing and he was like, the first thing he said was, I heard you guys were here. Oh, oh, oh they so Well, the kids thought that's that exciting. was amazing because he Gosh. dances Lord of the Dance yeah. with Michael Flatley. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we were performing at the same time. I saw venue. Michael Flatley. I was so just I. mind blown. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's he's great stuff you're doing. Yeah. So the traveling would be all over America and throughout Europe? Yeah, they have uh, four different troops okay. that travel in different places. So they have a China tour and a European tour wow. and an American slash Canadian tour. Right. How exciting mm -hmm. would that be? Your parents must be thrilled with yeah. how far you've come mm -hmm. in the dance world. Yeah. Now, is there anything you're prepping or doing extra to prepare yourself for this audition that would be coming up? Uh, it's mostly just yeah. Yeah. practice. <laughs> Practicing and putting the right. time in and the work yeah. in. And and giving her some, you know, a little bit of challenge yeah. because you need to mm -hmm. challenge your dancers no matter what level they're at. Right. So, like, a challenge for her uh, would be different than a challenge for someone else, mm -hmm. but you need for to keep me. challenging <laughs> the dancers. <laughs> oh, you're like me. Cross, it would be. So, yeah. and it's, it's great to have that time where, where you can do that and sort of push them. Yeah. yeah. Ellen, do you have boys in your troop? Well, yes, I've had boys over the years. My son being one of them, but he, he likes to sing no. But, of course, mm -hmm. when he was little, he was... He was uh, in the troop the same as everybody else and and uh, we did have a lot of boys at one time when they're little and okay. but then they get into the sports know, and then they want to yeah. do the sports and then you lose them i remember one time we were having a concert and he was on the soccer field oh. and they had to go get him off the soccer field to do his song Aww. so so uh, he but he is fluent in gaelic too he is scottish he has, his father is from cape breton and and so he is scottish and irish and mm -hmm. he's fluent in gaelic he can jig, he jigs the tune and sings and so jigging the tune is sort of similar to the mouth music that mm -hmm. like um, um like vocables and things right. so yep. when and they would do that like that old style shan nose dancing they actually perform that in the show yep. where he jigs the tune they do the old style dance and it's it's like the roots of, yeah. of, of how who old you are. is he? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You must be proud. You're only boy, right? Mm -hmm. Your only child. Yes. Light yeah. of your life. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. So, what's the most fun for you? Like, I mean, the rehearsals aren't all fun. Yeah. Gosh, so, <laughs> so it's coming together to perform as a whole, or do you like do you perform individually? Is that what you like the most? Your solo. Um, when you know it's just you. Yeah, I like. Solos, because when, when I do solos, I can do a bunch of jumps yeah. and stuff, and that's my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. How do you teach how to jump? The space yeah. and like, having the floor to herself. I couldn't jump wide open spaces. <laughs> yes. yeah. like you know, we've done in the parking lot. <laughs> we've done taught her jumps in the parking lot sometimes. Which you had to learn as a girl yeah. growing up as a yeah. teacher, mm -hmm. so that takes mm -hmm. agility. Yes. Yeah. But so and there's a lot of exercises <laughs> you do, like that you have to do as an Irish dancer too. Yeah, yeah I would think there's an you actual have to do. workout exercise yes. yeah, program yeah. that's core not it's not all core just the strength. dancing. Give right? us some tips, William, because well, I could use some <laughs> core strength. But my, my question is this, so Ellen, for those of us who are not Mirren, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. And, and, and probably have no hope of ever mm -hmm. being, being Mirren, like how do you deal with like us? Well, we've had <laughs> Irish dance. We've had workshops that were open workshops at mm -hmm. the festival, where anybody who could, who would like to try it come in to try and it. And we yeah. we actually made an adult class at the Irish festival so that people wouldn't feel kind of intimidated by the mm -hmm. kids. So because uh, they bounce a lot easier. Yeah, than they do. So yeah. We want everybody to feel comfortable mm -hmm. when they're learning. So nice. and they actually were quite well attended. Oh. And um, oh. so we would start off by just like showing you the timing. Mm -hmm. And the timing and, and two maybe two basic steps that you could use. Two would be and, good. And, <laughs> and you would use those if for a number of set dances. So there's 32 different figure dances and set dances that you could do. And these are dances that were made to be done at parties. So your average person in Ireland would all know when, when we went to Clonus in 2004, we danced with the locals. And there were people from 8 to 80 getting up and dancing oh, these dances that we knew mm -hmm. and so like there's different dances like Walls of Limerick, Neat. Siege of Venice, there's different dances that would be known for, for the place mm -hmm. and uh, these are things that we can do with, with adults very easily. So trained. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite dance there's hope for or, us. or yes. song <laughs> and dance? Um, like of all the ones uh, that you love to perform, what would the top one be? Uh, I think it's well, we just started doing it this yes. year, actually, after I, I got back from Ireland, because yeah. I learned it yeah. in Ireland. It's oh. uh, Heartland. Heartland? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of the dances they do in the Riverdance show. Okay. Mm -hmm. So will we see that this year at the Irish Festival? 
Maybe. Oh yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> my costumes are your costumes are outstanding. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. they're uh, standalone. So where do you get these costumes? Well, we have our traditional dresses. Of course, they have to be made. Uh, we did get our first set from overseas, and these latest ones that they have now, uh, we did order from the states. That's the traditional Irish, uh, the one with the with Greens sort of the, the Book of the Kells kind of designs on them. But they do have their other outfits, which would be like more so their river dance type of outfit, where you would maybe have a wrap skirt or a, a simple little dress or an outfit that's stamped. Red dresses. And Burl Patrick and, uh, has been our Why seamstress. Not Burl? Yeah, for years. Great. And, and so she's actually working on a new dress for them right Lovely. now. Lovely, mm -hmm. beautiful seamstress. Mm -hmm. So you wear socks or tights? I forget with your shoes. Uh, like it depends on the dress. Okay, mm -hmm. knee with socks for some. Yeah, mm -hmm. knee socks with the traditional dress. Right. And then tights with the rest of the dresses. Okay. I love the hard shoe. Yeah. I love it all. I love yeah. the hard shoe, Just I do. Look and now, you, you mentioned in the beginning of, the, of our interview, now you have changed locations. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about being at the Siemens Hospital. The Siemens Hospital gives us the chance to really have the kids focus in a closed in space more so okay. at our where levels. Were you before? We were just in the school gym. Oh okay. so I yes. mean we it was you can imagine a sea of dancers mm, in the school gym. Exactly. Like exactly you know, like it, it's it's yes they were focused there but it's a lot harder to be focused in an open it's gonna be intimate area and spacing exactly. and yeah. intimate yeah. and right? characters. No, you know, I mean because you need space. Yeah, yeah. You, need you need the space, space but you just need enough space. But yeah. but typically I mean your the stages you're performing on are quite yes. small so mm. you would need to get Yes, used to that. Yeah. yeah. And of course, too, like in there, in that building, the kids are closer to me. I know. Yes. So uh, I feel like Personal. Um, they're really they're getting you. more out of it, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Veronique has a real love for mm -hmm. Irish theme, I Ireland, and Irish yeah. dance, she just mm -hmm. said. So she was to be interested in joining your class. Mm -hmm. When's it going to be offered for well, adults? Well, we're thinking in the spring, we're, we're going to get St. Pat's out of the way. Yeah. And plus, we did actually try to. Uh, get the adult class on Thursdays going, but because of the storm mm -hmm. days, mm -hmm. we had to make up our regular classes for the students. Yeah. Right. right. So the adults sort of had to take a back seat to right. that. And so, so we're looking at maybe likely op opening up maybe April and putting it out there awesome. and see if anybody would like to come. So Thursday you're gonna nights. you're gonna announce it to the public. Absolutely. So that, people <laughs> so that they're yeah, needs not the only one yes. who shows up. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Well, I just want to be able to show up. <laughs> we're very yeah. proud of you both. Extremely proud to say that it we is. know both of you. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. And that being for all from you've done. the small little community, Mayor Machi, to, mm -hmm. to have such a big presence in Ireland. Worldwide. Uh, yeah, yeah. Worldwide. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We heard you were here. Yes. Like, yeah. seriously, that's fantastic. Next time you have to come and dance on the table for us. <laughs> no, the table will take it. Mayor Machi style. Yeah. Costume and all, for yeah. sure. We want to thank you so much for joining us today, Marin and Ellen. Thank you. Yeah, it's been so a pleasure. we look forward to seeing you guys in the future with your future endeavors and St. Patrick's Day concert. Patrick's yes, concert and definitely. And then, of course, the that. summertime we have our little mm -hmm. St. Patty's Festival as well. And Irish Festival, yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're looking exactly. forward to that. So you're performing right on St. Patrick's Day? On St. Patrick's Day. Okay. It's, it's a big... Uh, it's a Saturday, Saturday this Day year, and so... Nelson is big no matter what day of the week it is. So no, the Nelson... But bigger so. Uh, Nelson what? Rural School. Nelson Rural School. Yeah, we have the Mass at St. Patrick's, mm -hmm. the Supper in the church basement, okay. and then the concert at 7. Perfect. Mm -hmm. no, that's and fabulous. goodwill or an admission fee? On. Yeah, donation. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Okay, And we Great. actually have a, a steeple fundraiser going on at the yes. same time. Um, oh, and right. Bradley Lynch Nelson has, has organized that. Wonderful. So there's actually some prints of old old pictures of Nelson that people That's are right. going to do a silent auction on cool. those things. Great. Nelson's a great spot. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining thank us you. and thank you for watching. We'll Good see luck. you again next week. Thanks from all of us here at Have a Chat. Bye-bye.